Hello everyone, Wampit here. So today, I'm doing something I've really never done before. And yeah, I mean, I've obviously played Minecraft on this channel a little. But yeah, new video. And this will be a seed video. I will put the seed in the description, and I think I'll put it on screen right now. So this is a spawn. If you follow the lava right where my cursor is, and pretty much travel, you'll see this in the... coming up. So yeah, you have a village, which is pretty cool for Minecraft, and especially since it's kind of near spawn too. Just a little village with a tower, I don't, I don't remember what these big tower things are called, but if you get almost to the top here, uh, usually there is bread in here. Obviously, there is hay all around the village, which is useful when you're beginning because you usually don't have food. And then you have this big mountain. Now, this mountain is usually where I'm using this seed. I usually build a house on top of it. If you fly up, you can see that it's kind of flat mountain with a water and a hole in the middle. And I really like this because you can just kind of be creative and build on top of a mountain. So, probably already saw it there, but you see you have that uh, big tower. If you turn, you can kind of see it in the distance. Well, I can. I don't think the uh, recording quality is good enough, unfortunately. But right there. Oh, wow. It's a desert temple. Obviously, you can go down. Make sure you don't hit the that. Usually in survival, harvest the TNT. But you can get diamonds, iron, golden apples, and loot kind of depends. But it's a cool place. Away from the temple, you know. You can see the temple in the distance. Then you have a savannah village. Pretty cool. Food again. Uh, chests in some of the houses. Melons. All right. So now I'm back at the spawn point. There's a shipwreck in the water, right off of the big mountain. Pretty much decent loot, especially if you're starting off. And then you have another big mountain right there.
Now, if you keep going and going pretty much over this big mountain. Oh, look, you have another big village with towers, which usually have food and other things. And you have, wow, a big old fashioned nether portal or ruined nether portal. Obsidian, mending, and then gold. And then obviously, right over here, desert temple. And about that nether portal, that's not the only good thing about the nether portal. You know, the loot. That's just one part of it, and I'll get to that a little later. And wow. Look. Another desert temple. Loot is pretty good, considering you get three diamonds. But again, that's not all. <laughs> You keep going this way, and there's another village. And right next to that village is a desert temple. Like, this seed is kind of insane. So another one. <laughs> like, our right books, you know. All right, chests and loot, enchanting book. Now, back to that little nether portal I was telling you about. Okay. So, you have to obsidian and uh, flint and steel. And then you can pretty much create another portal. You light it and wow, look at that, a big achievement. Oh wait, we're right in Inside a fortress. Another fortress, which in this game now is pretty dang rare just because of spawn rates and all that. And then, you know, you walk a few blocks, you know, you pretty much turn this corner and you can see blazes. But now you have a fortress that is gigantic, I think. And you're immediately spawned into the nether. And the fortress, which is, you know, something you need. It's just kind of a cool thing. I found it one day just playing, and it was pretty cool. So yeah. Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe, and maybe I will do another seed gameplay. See you later, and goodbye.